we need to write the number represented by the blocks below. So here we can see that we have these blocks, which are ones, then we have these, which are tens, and we also have these blocks here, which are hundreds. So we know that if we have 10 ones, that's the same as having one ten. And for hundreds, if we have 10 tens, that's the same as having 100. So if we imagine 10 of these tens blocks all stuck next to each other, that's the same as having 100. So to write the number represented by these blocks, we need to count how many of each block we have, starting with our largest blocks, so our hundreds. We have eight hundreds, so we can write eight as our hundreds digit. We have nine of these tens blocks, so that's nine as our tens digit, and we have nine ones, so that's nine as our ones digit. So we have the number 899. Now here we have four as our hundreds digit, we have three as our tens digit, and we have six as our ones digit. So that's 436. So notice it's always the ones digit on the end, then the tens digit before that, and then because we're writing three digit numbers, we have the hundreds digit before that. Now here we can see that we have seven hundreds, so that's seven as our hundreds digit. We have eight tens, so we can write eight as our tens digit. But here we don't have any ones, and it's really important that we write a zero as our ones digit to show that we don't have any ones. That way we've written the number 780. But if we didn't have the zero here, we would have written the number 78. But that would show seven tens and eight ones. So we need this zero here as a placeholder to show that this seven represents seven hundreds and this eight represents eight tens. So again, in a three digit number, we need digits for our hundreds, tens and ones. So if we don't have any blocks of a certain place value, we need to write a zero as a placeholder. So now here, we can see that we have five hundreds, but this time we don't have any tens. So we need to write a zero as our tens digit. And then we can see that we have five ones, so that's five as our ones digit, giving us the number 505. Again, you can see why this zero is important. If we didn't have this zero, we would have the number 55. But that would be five tens and five ones, not the five hundreds and five ones that we have here.